Definitely. Those little flowers are going to be enjoying the sunshine this weekend. They got the rain that they need mm -hmm. over the past few days, and now they've got the sunshine. So we Beautiful, have the nice. April showers and May flowers a little bit early, mm -hmm. but we're not complaining. It is gorgeous outside as we head into the weekend. So here's a look as we go into the rest of this week. The Almanac got up to 80 degrees today. 69 is where we started our morning, and 69 is actually where we ended yesterday afternoon. So much, much warmer as we're heading further into this week. Here's a look across the state of Texas. You can see this big kind of swirling pattern. That's a big low pressure system that's going to deliver a lot more dry air to the upper levels of the atmosphere, continuing these nice sunny skies for us here in South Texas. It's also helping to clear out all of that rain from this morning. You can see the last little bits of that just behind my head here from earlier this morning, right at the beginning of that radar loop. Temperatures are in the 70s and 60s as we speak. It's a little cooler to our north where some of those clouds are hanging on. Speaking of that drier air, that means our temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be just a little bit cooler than they were this morning. So we're waking up in the lower 60s with some clouds, but don't worry, the sunshine is going to come back in full force tomorrow. I mentioned earlier in the newscast, some places could be reaching the 90 degree mark tomorrow. That's mainly going to be for our southern counties as well as out towards the brush country. I've got us getting to 87 here in Corpus Christi tomorrow, so definitely a warm afternoon, but with the lower humidity and the sunshine, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Even better heading into Saturday, a little cooler in the morning to kick off our weekend, but lots of sunshine as we head into Friday and Saturday. Just super, super nice. But heading into Sunday, while the weather is still going to be pretty nice, not too much humidity, it is going to be pretty windy with sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour and gusts up over 40. So if you're heading out to a Palm Sunday service outdoors, make sure you hold that Palm a little extra tightly. Here's a look at that low pressure system I mentioned swirling away up in the Red River Valley. You can almost kind of envision the drier air wrapping around into South Texas. That's again why we're going to continue to see those sunny skies here over the next couple of days as that low pressure continues out to the east. We still see that dry air through the first part of the weekend. Now heading into Sunday, I mentioned we do get windy. That's going to be thanks to this big low pressure up in the central plains as it deepens or basically it gets stronger and the central pressure drops in side of it. That is what's making us windy all the way down here in South Texas. The cold front associated with this system is going to swing into Texas heading into Monday, and it's looking a little bit later in the day by Monday. This isn't going to be a very strong front. It's going to drop us a couple handful of degrees, and it's not looking like a huge rainmaker for us here in South Texas. I've got an isolated chance at rain for us here in the coastal bend on Monday. Here's a look at your Friday forecast starting off a little bit cooler 62 tomorrow morning, working up into the upper 80 tomorrow afternoon with all that dry air and sunshine. Y'all are going to be loving this weather. 87 for the high in Corpus Christi and again a couple 90s out there to our south. So a little toasty in the afternoon, but by Saturday we're actually going to be seeing slightly cooler temperatures thanks to those northerly winds bringing in the drier air. It's also a little cooler. So 78 on Saturday and then 80 on Sunday. So a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend here to kick off spring. We'll oh, take we it. love it. Yes, I am enjoying just looking at that forecast yeah, right nice. now. All right, Kristen, thank you. When we come